We're doing art arteries of the crystal skull. So here's where it begins, common carotid. This would be right side. It's gonna bifurcate, okay? One of them is gonna go up and in. That's the internal carotid. One of them staying outside and gives rise to all these little branches. So from what we can see, this most likely is going to the thyroid, superior thyroid artery. There's a little tiny piece here. Get my finger behind it. That's what we're gonna call the lingual. This one here is supposed to come up and over. That's the facial, it's longer than the, the lingual for differentiation purposes. Deep inside there is the maxillary, temporal, and occipital arteries, all branches off of the external carotid. Here we see the vertebral running through the bones. And that's gonna go through the foramen magnum, and it's gonna meet up with the internal carotid. So in here, the two vertebrals come up through the foramen magnum, okay? And they're gonna come together and form the basilar. And the basilar is then gonna supply blood here to the cerebral arterial circle or the circle of Willis. The circle of Willis is also gonna receive blood from the two internal carotids. Now you really can't see them because they're coming up through the carotid canal and they're gonna hit the bottom, right? So right below these two points is where the two internal carotids attach to the circle of Willis. So now the circle is supplied with blood and it's gonna distribute blood to the cerebrum, posterior cerebral, middle cerebral, anterior cerebral arteries, supplying blood to the cerebrum. There's also blood going to the cerebellum so we have, you can see some large vessels coming off of the basilar and then maybe another large vessel coming off of the vertebral. The larger ones that are here would be cerebellar arteries supplying the cerebellum. And then the little tiniest ones coming off of the basilar, those would be the pontine there supplying the pons. Uh, there is a little tiny one that goes down the back of the spinal cord. Well, actually, it's this one here. I'll put the stick on. It's actually going along the front of the spinal cord. That's the anterior spinal. It's in between the two vertebrals.